Hello guys, my name is Tristan Randall of Nocturnal Films and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a $5 selfie stick into a crane slash jib and also a mount for your tripod for your phone. I would like to point out that this entire video, the light setup, is being powered by my DIY battery bank sitting right down here. I'll post a picture, probably as I'm saying this right now. Uh, if you want to see that and how it works, how much it costs, and how to make it, you can just click my face for a link or also have a card up for you mobile users. Okay, so I told you guys how I was going to be using something to make a crane slash jib. And what you were probably thinking was, you know, the whole massive setup for your big angled shots that continue into a continuous. Well, what if I told you you could do that with a selfie stick? Now I know what you guys are thinking. Tristan, are you absolutely fucking autistic? Uh, the answer is no, because despite its little size and ridiculous usage, this thing actually packs quite a little punch for your projects. For example, I'm going to be showing you some shots I got using this, uh, using my camera. I'm actually recording with my phone right now, using the other end of this, just to make the point across that it does work. By using the extended a bit, you can take it and get it very high. This is currently about two feet over my house right now. Plus, with a little bit of stabilization through your hand, you can lower it into a beautiful shot. Now this is not going to be doing work for an action scene nonetheless, but for a scene setup, bird's eye view, to make someone seem bigger than another. Just overall the usage of this is just pretty fantastic, especially when it comes to the price point. You've probably seen these for 15, 20, 25 maybe online or in stores. Well, we just happen to have a store nearby called Five Below. I don't know if it's only a local store, but everything there is five dollars a hundred. Selfie sticks is one of those items. And in fact, I'm gonna look online after I make this video, and if I can find one for about that price, I'll post it on here. I'll post the cheapest one I find in the link, is I'm gonna show you how this also can work as your phone mount. Okay, so here's your selfie stick in its full form. It's very easy to take off. You can just hold on to its little wheel and just twist. It's a very easy way to get it off of the threaded mount. And then of course it fits your phone and will go on any tripod. And this is completely extendable. It has its thread to put your camera on it. And to place it, once again, you simply just run the thread through as you would any other thread mount. And place your phone and then you're done. It is really that simple. Yeah, for your super indie filmmakers, a selfie stick for five dollars should be one of your almost immediate assets to help give some character to your films and give you access to maybe shooting if you don't even have a camera. If you just want to use your phone, for you professional filmmakers out there who are just like, what are you doing? You're an idiot. Well, you sir or ma'am, you are completely correct. I am an absolute moron, but that's the fun of it. Honestly, I hope to become a professional filmmaker someday. I really do. And I would like to be able to look back at this, all this little goofy stuff I do, and to be like, that's where I started from. How does that absolutely autistic song go? Started from the bottom now we're here. God, I hate rap. And pop. But yeah, subscribe for more film tricks and DIY builds. If you have something to say about this or anything on your mind, uh, leave it in a comment below. And also be sure to take my short films a look. We recently finished Interrogation. We're pretty proud of it. Uh, your feedback could help make the next one even much better. I will slay thee.